There was a magnitude 6.7 earthquake in the Banda Sea today that was followed one minute later by a magnitude 7.1 earthquake. I'm about to show you a video that shows the seismic waves from these earthquakes crossing below seismic stations in North America. This is what it looks like. Each one of those dots is a seismic station. When the ground below the station moves up, the dot turns red, and when the ground below the station moves down, the dot turns blue. Each one of these are seismic stations measuring ground motion, not individual earthquakes themselves. Okay, here we go. The green triangle is the station that is recording the waves you can see along the bottom. Here come the seismic waves from those earthquakes. You can see them coming in first through Alaska, and then they'll come through uh, other parts of North America. Now there are seismic stations in Mexico and Canada, but we can't use every seismic station in this type of animation. These waves, by the time they reach North America, are far too small to feel, but not too small to be measured by these sensitive seismic instruments. In fact, they're uh, smaller than the width of a human hair. That's how much the ground is moving here. Also, do you see that red line? That's showing the direction that the waves are coming. It's following a great circle path. We'll see a picture of a great circle path in just a second. Really amazing what these seismometers can pick up.